So in this video, I'm going to explain what it means for the genetic code to be redundant and why it's important. Another term for the redundancy, some people like to refer to the genetic code as degenerate, but they both essentially mean that there are many situations where different codons will specify the same amino acid. What I mean by that is if you look at maybe right over here, you see that the UUU codon and the UUC codon both will give you a phenylalanine amino acid. Additionally, if we look down here, we can see that if the first base is a G and the second base is a C, you're always gonna get alanine. So remember that ALA is the abbreviation for alanine and PHE is the abbreviation, right over here, is the abbreviation for phenylalanine. And if you guys didn't take biochem yet, this isn't really important. You won't have to memorize these terms until biochem. But essentially the redundancy of the genetic code, it just means that there are many situations where different codons will specify the same amino acid. But something to keep in mind is that no codon will ever specify two different amino acids. So let's say you take UUU over here it's always going to specify phenylalanine. You're never going to have a situation where you have a UUU codon that's going to give you serine or tyrosine, for example. And if you look closely, more closely, and take some more time to look at this graph over here, you'll begin to notice that the codons that encode for the same amino acid usually have the same first base and second base. So the codons encoding for one amino acid will usually differ in the third position, but sometimes it could differ in the second position as well. But obviously this isn't always true because as you can see over here, for leucine, there are six codons that code for leucine, and then two of them begin with U as the first base, and the other four begin with C. Therefore, it's just a general rule that the codons encoding for one amino acid will usually differ in the third or second position. And you may be asking right now why this is important. Why do you have more than one codon encoding for one specific amino acid? Well, that's because if there's a mutation, it'll make it more likely for it to be less harmful. So what I mean by that is, let's say we're looking at leucine over here. So let's say you have the first base it has, is a cytosine, the second base is a uracil. So you have C and then U. But let's say the third position here is changed. So as you can see here, it doesn't really matter what the third position is. It could be U, it could be C, it could be A, it could be G. They're all going to give you leucine. And so this makes it less likely for a mutation to cause serious harm. And if it happens, if you have the third position change, but the amino acid is still the same, that's called a silent mutation. So to summarize, the redundancy of the genetic code just means that there are going to be different codons that specify the same amino acid, but no codon will ever specify two different amino acids. And this is helpful to prevent bad mutations from becoming really harmful. So that pretty much sums it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the video and found it useful. If you did, be, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.